Do you remember the first time you sat on a boat with meters of water underneath you? A memorable moment, right? Well, there are some people out there that make memorable moments every day while riding boats, but not in the way you think. Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we shall take a look at some more idiots on boats and see what they have cooking nowadays. Without further ado, let us begin. Backing into the dock, this cruiser backs into the back of the pier and the captain seems to be well under trained for the job as he keeps hitting the poor thing. Imagine minding your own business when all of a sudden a wild idiot comes and crashes into your backside. That has got to hurt in the night. Texting and driving is one thing, but the idiot decided to do it while laying back in his seat and pollinating the boat at the same time. You okay? Yeah, well, obviously the boat's dumb. Imagine getting yourself stuck so badly that you have to use a sledgehammer on the rudder of your sailboat so you can get free. As a personal best, these guys hit 60 miles an hour and as soon as they do, they get flung out of the boat and the boat can be seen running in circles afterward. Either this guy was an idiot or the people on the other two boats trapped him into a jump he will remember for a lifetime. Either his boat broke or his back, but one of them is certain. Everything was going fine for these guys, but their day comes to an end early as they jump over the water and almost go vertical. As they get air, the both of them collide with each other. In times like these, the only thing a person can do is jump out of the boat, but this Einstein decided to jump right into the wave itself. Looks like someone is getting a bit angry, and I for one did not know you could move a boat with this much agility, but he did end up hitting a few in the process. These people watch as a super yacht slides its way into park boats as nobody on board has any idea about what to do. Might want to spend all that money on a better captain next time. This is why I don't like sailboats. You can't do anything on your own and can only let the wind guide you, even if it means guiding you into the rocks. Two parties on two different boats are disrupted when the little one decided to cut right in front of the other one. You can see how people start falling from left to right. A family outing takes a turn for the worse when all of them are so busy looking at what is behind them that they end up hitting something. <laughs> As this ferry begins to park itself, the weather takes an ugly face and the winds force it to ram into the docks. That is one ferry I would not like to use. Like the guy before, these two guys also bail on their boat, but their little stunt almost goes wrong when the wave hits harder than everyone expected. This guy is surely trying to show off in front of his girl, but his fame is short-lived when he puts too much speed into the turn and ends up hitting his boat's underbelly too hard. Cars got reverse cameras back in the early 2000s, but looks like this million dollar super yacht does not have one on it as the pilot backs into another boat, crushing it in the process. These guys wave and yell at a boat that seems to be rushing towards them at great speed, but looks like they are too busy to see what is in front of them. These hovercrafts are nice on land and water, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to enter the water like this. Rest in peace, fan. I already knew it. Here's the aftermath of someone spending millions of dollars on a boat and not driving it around carefully. Talk about watching your money sink to the bottom, am I right? Sometimes the best seats in the house come at a cost, and for this guy, the cost meant broken teeth and maybe even a nose. This diver could not have a better timing for getting air. A little more to the right and he would have been sleeping with the fishes himself. The owner of this poor ship managed to catch the crash from many angles. From outside and as well as from inside, the boat and the damage can be clearly felt through the video. Sometimes even the cops have a hard time keeping everything perfect, and this guy could not have embarrassed himself more than he has already. The motor on this boat has had it with the use and abuse, and has decided to go home as an early retirement as it knocks itself slowly. Boat racing is a hard thing because when it comes to turning these pocket rockets, there actually isn't much to grip into on the water. Here is a bad idea, trying to lay down and holding on for dear life at the nose of the boat as it tries to go through rough waters. Racing a boat full throttle is a thrilling thing until you get underneath it which picks you up and takes you downtown. 
The couple piloting this boat is gravely confused as to why their boat is not moving, and the problem seems to be a little too obvious, but of course, not to them. The sailors aboard this fishing vessel brace for impact after getting T-boned by another boat, but one of them was unfortunate enough to take the entire blow of the impact. A man and his 360 camera on a jet ski catch the horror as another one comes straight to him and rams him off his. <laughs> There is always that one pontoon driver that seems to be as brain dead as a zombie, and this guy, who smacks right into a buoy, is no different in that regard. Cutting corners in a car is different, but cutting corners in a boat is something you might want to avoid. Here is what happens when you get a little too close to land on your boat. Sometimes, even the Navy can have little accidents like this one. The pilot of the little boat seems to have lost either his brakes or his head, or at this point, even his job. Drifting away with the slow and steady current of the canal water, this boat is on the loose, and where is the owner, you think? Here he comes full speed, putting in the work to save his boat. Everyone thinks that they are a good boat captain until they come across areas like this. I really hope I all. Oh. Damn! Here is the champion of boat ramps, and of course it is a pontoon owner who seems to be busy wrecking his motor before causing havoc on the water. This thing belongs in the scrapyard. Sometimes people fail to realize that braking does not work as well on the water as it does on land. Other than vehicle insurance, I hope this guy had life insurance. Pontoon rider who seemed to be as blind as a bat literally cut through the line of his float and thank god nobody was hurt during this. This old man is celebrating his win of sitting behind a jet ski, but his celebration falls short and immature as he forgets he has to keep a firm grip. Taking a look at bigger ends of things, a tanker finds itself in the life of fire of this just as big container ship which seems to have lost all braking. A racing yacht, which is already titled to a side, begins to turn into a submarine as it begins to go under after the pilots fail to correct it on time. Looks like someone misjudged the size of their ship and the height of the bridge. Now all the containers are free and headed to open waters. Here is why you should always slow down when you come near the shore. You never know how shallow the water can become. I am pretty sure this is not the way the stunt was planned out in his mind. 